Money. Noun. Money is anything that is generally used as payment for goods and services. We all love and need money. Where does money come from? What exactly is money? By far, most of the money in the world is not the kind of money we carry around in our pockets. The vast majority of the money in the world only exists as numbers in banks' computers. Almost all money in the world is created by banks when they make loans. Our money is actually consumer debt in disguise. Here is how it works. First, Mr. Smith walks into a bank and applies for a $500,000 home loan. Then, Mr. Smith agrees to repay $500,000 plus interest over the next 30 years. Poof. Just like magic, the bank created $500,000 in Smith's bank account. Our money is actually consumer debt in disguise. Besides being consumer debt in disguise, my money entitles me to a tiny, declining, fraction of the remaining natural resources on our finite planet. Every new loan made reduces my fraction. My money is a form of social power because it empowers me to buy the time and energy of others. Every new loan made reduces my political power. The politics of money allows us to manipulate poor people all over the world. We buy their time and their irreplaceable natural resources with our money. The politics of money also allows us to manipulate our formal political system. We buy favors directly with all sorts of campaign contributions, but most importantly, we buy influence after the election with professional lobbyists, public relations firms, and the mass media. Since our money is based on consumer debt, its value requires consumers to repay their debt. The bad news is that we require automobiles to work and repay our debt, but we are running out of gas, becoming unable to repay our debts, and our money is becoming worthless. How will the rich confront the calamity of worthless money? Is war the only answer?